Okay, so first of all, I have this table here and I want to filter this table for values greater than 0 0.5 and then recreate that table here. And I'm going to do this using a helper column and the formula is going to be count if. The range will be this cell here then a colon and that will automatically put in a second copy of that cell reference. The criteria is going to be inside quotation marks, the greater than symbol, then an and, and then this cell here. And this is now counting the number of cells in this range that have a value greater than 0 0.5. And close brackets. And I want to be able to drag this formula down, so I need to press F4 to put the dollar signs inside this cell reference, so it doesn't change when I drag the formula down. And I also want the range to expand as I drag the formula down, so I need to put the dollar signs into the first cell reference as well. Then I'll drag this formula down, and you can see the count increases as I go down. So here, because the first cell reference is an absolute cell reference and the second is a relative cell reference, the second one changes as I drag the formula down, so the range expands. So at the moment, this formula is calculating how many numbers in this range are greater than 0 0.5, and there are three of them, one here, one here, and one here, so I get the number three. And then down here, the range has expanded even more and it's counting how many values in the range are greater than 0 0.5. And there are now four of them. So I get the number four. The reason the numbers are sometimes repeating is because when a number isn't greater than 0 0.5, even though the range has expanded, the number still stays the same because there's the same number of values greater than 0 0.5. However, because we're using a fee lookup formula for this, that formula will start looking in the top row and then go down until it finds a match. So we'll always find the first match and it doesn't matter that we have repeating numbers. So I'm now going to type in the V lookup formula and it will be looking up this value. The table array will be this table here. I'm just going to add in a few blank cells at the bottom so I can add numbers to the table later if I want. I need the table array to be an absolute cell reference. So I'm going to press F4 to insert the dollar signs around this array so it doesn't change when I drag the formula down. The column index number is the column you want to show the results from. So this is column one and column two and column three. And I want it to show me the number, so I need column three. Then the range lookup is going to be false for an exact match. And close brackets and enter. Then I can drag the formula down and you'll see it's found every number greater than 0 0.5. I get these errors down the bottom here because it's trying to find these numbers in this column and it can't find them. I don't want to be able to see this error here, so I'm going to hide that by putting an if error formula in here. So if the VLOOKUP formula produces an error, I don't want it to show me anything, so I'm going to put two quotation marks with nothing in between, and that will give me a blank cell. Now I'll send the formula down again, and you can see all of the error messages have disappeared. Now to get the value instead of the column, I just need to change the column index number here from three to two, and enter. Then when I send this down, I get all of the values in here. So now I have this table filtered for only the values that are greater than 0 0.5. Now I'll also drag this formula down a little bit so I can add numbers 
to the bottom of the table later on. And if I want to hide all of the repeating numbers on here, I can wrap the count if formula into an if formula. So if this number here is greater than 0 0.5, and I'll need to add the dollar signs to that to get it to stay the same when I drag the formula down. And if the value is greater than 0 0.5, I want it to do the count if formula for me. And if not, I don't want it to show me anything. So I'm going to put two quotation marks here with nothing in between and close brackets and enter. Then if I copy this formula down, you can see all of the repeating numbers disappear. So now it's a little clearer what the VLOOKUP formula is actually finding in this column. Now, in order to get rid of all of these numbers here, I can change the VLOOKUP formula. At the moment, the lookup value is this cell here. So it's looking for the number one. But I can change this to rows. And the rows formula will just count the number of rows in an array. So if I click on this cell here, then I'll type a colon and it will automatically add a second copy of the cell reference. Then I want this range to expand as I drag the formula down. So I will press F4 to put the dollar signs into the first cell reference so that it stays the same when I drag the formula down. So at the moment, it's only counting the number of rows in one cell. So that is just the number one. So we'll look for the number one in this column and it will get me this row here. But if I send the formula down, the range here expands. So now it's looking in these two cells and that gives me the number two. Now I can copy this formula across and I now need to change the two up to a three and I'll send that formula down as well. And now I no longer need this column here. There's no way of getting around having to have this helper column in here, but you can hide it or you can change the font color to white so that it's just not visible anymore. And so now I have my tables set up the way I want them. And because all of the formulas are linking to this cell, if I increase the number, I'm now filtering for values greater than 0 0.7 and the table updates itself. I can also change the numbers in here. For example, I'll make this higher and you can see that gets added in on the top. And then if the number becomes smaller, that number disappears. Also, because I left some extra cells at the bottom of this table, I can add in another value down here, and that will also get added into the table. Now, there is a, another formula that you can use to do this, which is equals filter. Then the array is this table here, and I'm going to filter to include only values that are greater than 0 0.7 and close brackets and enter. And you can see we end up with the same table here that we do here. Now, unfortunately, this filter formula is currently only available in Google Sheets and in the newest version of Excel, but hopefully it will become more widely available soon. And in the meantime, you can use a workaround with a VLOOKUP formula like this. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to filter values using VLOOKUP in Excel. And that is everything.